Max, I appreciate you uh, joining us today. Um, you know, I think uh, a lot of the viewers have heard, uh, you know, all the incredible things we've had to say about WeRecover, but there's no one better to talk about it than, uh, you know, founder, you know, right across from me. Um, so for the viewers, if you could tell them just sort of what WeRecover does, what problem you're trying to solve, um, you know, what market you're playing in, I think that would be very helpful. When I'm talking about it, I like to talk about the genesis of the concept because it helps put into context what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. But a couple of years ago, I was trying to get my sister into rehab. Mm -hmm. And the process of trying to get her into the right place that I could afford and took her insurance and accepted females was just a complete and utter nightmare. It was probably one of the worst experiences of my life. So. After that experience, I decided that there needed to be a centralized way for people to find and get into the appropriate care in a simple, streamlined fashion. That's what I set out to build, and I realized that the experience that I went through was not unique. It was actually huge. There's you know, roughly 30 million people in the country that are in need of some form of inpatient or outpatient substance use disorder treatment. And realizing that, um, we did, you know, dug in and did you know, some more research, and we realized that patient acquisition on the other side was the biggest pain point for rehabs. So you have this skyrocketing demand on one side, and on the other side, these rehabs can't find patients. And so there was a disconnect there. Mm -hmm. And we decided that we needed to build a platform that connected the two in an efficient manner. When we look at founders and we look at teams to back, you know, it really helps um, when founders have a, you know, sort of true sort of emotional um, experience tied to the industry. So, you know, really appreciate you sharing that. Um, so, so what, how does sort of We Recover go about solving this problem and why do you think it hasn't been solved to date? It hasn't been solved because healthcare in this country is tremendously complicated. You know, everything from interoperability to uh, lack of transparency from the payers, um, to lack of knowledge about healthcare insurance benefits in this country. I've read statistics that four out of five people don't even know what a deductible is. Mm -hmm. um, so when you look at these things, and then you look at the you know, technical documentation and the lack of standardizations around the lexicon from a you know, technical standpoint, mm -hmm. it creates a barrier to entry for top tier engineering talent to come in because they don't know healthcare lexicon. Got it, okay. And so, uh, it makes building any type of technology uh, much more complicated. Mm -hmm. And we just had the willpower and grit to, you know, do it. Got it, got it, great, yeah. Um, you know, so how do you think about sort of the We Recover product? How would you explain, you know, the incredible technology that you guys have developed to date? Yeah, on a high level, uh, what we're really trying to do is make finding the appropriate care for addiction treatment as easy as booking a hotel. Mm -hmm. And on the surface, it seems like an easy to understand idea, but when you go into the back end of it, it is immensely complicated. Um, to be able to plug into roughly 2,000 commercial insurance companies across the country mm -hmm. that all have disparate provider networks, you know, there's, I think there's roughly 50,000 different provider networks mm -hmm. that all have dynamically changing reimbursement rates that change unilaterally a couple times a year. You look at the permutations of what healthcare could cost for this, mm -hmm. it's in the tens of millions mm -hmm. for any particular type of person. Mm -hmm. And we've took all that headache um, and extra touch points and latency in an antiquated system and streamlined and automated the whole thing. Oh, you're talking about a very complicated system, an archaic system in the United States. Um, a, a system where there's really not a lot of data available online and you guys have sort of come in and streamlined it and mm -hmm. then created a situation where if, if a patient is in need, they can find the rehabilitation center that matches their needs based off of the data that we recover provides. Yeah, 
And it's important to note that the financial component is just one bucket of it. Mm -hmm. And there's another piece that's complicated too, which is the clinical side. Okay. And what we've done is we've scoured the country and we've put together the most comprehensive and user-friendly database of treatment centers to date mm -hmm. that's never existed before. Wow. So we're garnering unique structured data points mm -hmm. longitudinally throughout the continuum of care mm -hmm. um, because there's actually multiple different types of rehabs depending on the severity and type of the drug addiction Got it. at yep. play. And so we're able to have a sophisticated matching algorithm to get people where they need to go uh, faster, which mm -hmm. every second uh, when someone's dealing with a drug addiction like this could be the difference between life and death. Got it, yeah. You know, I think it's so incredible to see really unique core technology innovation tackling, you know, a very tough and complicated problem, um, but then also to be so mission driven. Um, do you find that that mission sort of helps you, um, you know, when it comes to just overcoming the trials and tribulations that come with running a startup? Yeah, I mean, I think any founder uh, will tell you that it's not an easy task. Mm -hmm. So, uh, have it having it be personal to me and mm -hmm. my co-founder as well mm -hmm. definitely adds fuel to the fire yeah let's so go well we we definitely noticed that when we were uh you know speaking with you and, and mm -hmm. steven and, and looking at the deal um yeah you know would love to you know get an understanding in terms of the value that we recover has created to date um you know the, the value in sort of this this network of vetted rehabilitation centers, you know, all the data, the way you've streamlined the data. Um, how do you think about, you know, the value of the tech that you've built? Well, um, you know, on a high level, we look at the marketplace as a two-sided marketplace. You have mm -hmm. the demand side and the supply side. Mm -hmm. And we've been scaling the supply side of the marketplace really quickly. Mm -hmm. We launched the platform in March, mm -hmm. and we now have uh, almost $5 million in monthly monetizable inventory from, mm -hmm. a supply, from the supply side. Got it. And if you look at the sheer capacity, we're already the second largest rehab country. Wow. Rehab wow. company in the country. Amazing. Unbelievable. Um, so, you know, from your perspective, you think that we recover is the most efficient way for anyone in a time of need to really seek help from a, from a treatment that's been vetted. Yeah. Got it, got it. And uh, can you tell us about some of the other things you're doing um, on the B2B side, B2G side? What are sort of some of the big potential enterprise deals that you're doing to really help you know, governments and large co companies you know, deal with uh, addiction recovery? Yeah, so this, this problem is arguably you know, the biggest problem our country is facing right now. How large is the opioid epidemic? Like, how do you think about that? So what do you think about market sizing? I think about it in two ways. Um, if you look at the amount of revenue generated from rehabs in this country, mm -hmm. it's north of $50 billion. Wow. But if you look at the cost associated with addiction, mm -hmm. it's north of $600 billion Crazy. annually. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, in a country that spends over $3 trillion in healthcare, mm -hmm. this is one of the biggest pain points in the entire system. Yeah. So what, so what kind of things are you guys doing on the B2G, B2B side? Where do you see We Recover going? Um, in the future. Yeah, so the enormity, the mm -hmm. sheer enormity of the mm -hmm. problem requires uh, public-private sector collaboration. Mm -hmm. And that's something uh, that we've started going after mm -hmm. and we've been getting noticed by certain government entities. So we've been approached by NIDA, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, mm -hmm. and the NIH to start going after grants because they're so interested in the data aggregation. Got it. Uh, you know, and the yeah. way we're able to model and get people to the places mm -hmm. that we need to go, mm -hmm. we can actually save mun municipalities, state and federal mm -hmm. governments a mm -hmm. lot of money by mm -hmm. taking a lot of the inefficiencies out of the system. And just a couple of weeks ago, we were actually out with uh, Chris Christie. And, and for our viewers that may not know, who is Chris Christie? Chris Christie is the former governor of New Jersey. Got it, okay. And he was chairman of the Opioid Commission for the White House. Wow, okay. And so he's been a big advocate mm -hmm. for policy reform and just more contributions and, and collaboration mm -hmm. across the board. Mm -hmm. And he loves what we're doing and I'm excited that uh, we have an open line of communication with him now. Got it. Got it. Yeah, we were uh, we were excited to see the picture of uh, Governor Chris, former Governor Chris Christie coming to the offices and yeah. really supporting the company. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And what what other things do you think you know are in the pipeline with you know on a sort of B two B side? You know, we recover working with companies like an Amazon to help their employees you know get 
treatment? Is there anything that you guys are, are trying to experiment with on that side? Yeah, I mean, I think we have the ability to leverage the network of treatment centers mm -hmm. to uh, create cost savings mm -hmm. for companies that are self-insured and have a major expenditure of healthcare, mm -hmm. um, especially at a time where, you know, in the last Surgeon General's report, 70% 70, 70 of people that are dealing mm -hmm. with addic addiction mm -hmm. are fully employed. Got it, yeah. Um, so that's, that's one area, but, you know, another source of big B2B opportunity mm -hmm. is for us to work with the payers and big provider networks mm -hmm. um, to be able to streamline coordination of care Got it. Um, yep. And the big hospital systems. Yeah. So we have a pilot going with a big hospital here in LA, mm -hmm. uh, UCLA, mm -hmm. to be able to reduce the overall time of case management for the licensed clinical social workers when Got someone it. ends up in the emergency room department due to an overdose ah, and increase okay. the actual throughput of the hospital and make it more efficient. Got it. So that seems to be a really good example of just sort of the power of the data that you're aggregating, you know, having all of this information on, you know, the patients, the providers, the payers, et cetera. I assume that's really valuable. Yeah, we're the only company in the country that really sits at the nexus of the payers and the public and the rehabs. Amazing, amazing. And uh, you know, one of the things that we really enjoyed about this deal generally was, you know, you've been able to attract world-class investors. Um, you know, we work a lot with Wonder VC on the pre-seed side, and Crosslink, for example, is backed my brother's company, Hungry Root, as well. Um, you know, how, how has that been? You know, working with those investors, and how has it been working with Struck Capital also? I mean, you guys have all been great, and you and Dustin came in at a time where most investors would not have believed in us because mm -hmm. we just weren't big enough or far enough along. Mm -hmm. But you were able to see something in us mm -hmm. and believed in us and were able to get us to the point where we are now. Great, great, great. Well, we, uh, we really appreciate the time, especially late on a, on a Friday yeah. evening. And uh, we're really excited to see you know, what you guys accomplish over the next few years. And most importantly, um, we're excited to see you tackle a problem that really needs to be solved. Thanks mm -hmm. so much, Max. Thanks, Anna.